What's going on YouTube? So here today in front of me I have the Huawei GR5 and this is a mid-tier budget device from Huawei also known as the Honor 5X and it's a decent phone I wouldn't say it's great by any means but it works well and it's been a little different getting used to Huawei's EMUI skin. Now it's very unique. There is no app drawer and it's it's not really like any other phone that I have ever used before. So anyways well this is a gaming on the Huawei GR5. Is it any good? So we'll get right into it here and see what this guy can do. So as you can see I got a few games downloaded on here. So I got True Skate, uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, and Asphalt Extreme. So as always we will start with Asphalt Extreme and show you guys what this phone can do. Now so far it seems pretty decent. It's quite a bit slower than what the Galaxy A5 can do which is at a similar price point as this phone but uh, it is what it is like it's it's a very budget device and it you're gonna get budget specs when you're buying a budget device so we will get right into it here and start a race and see how this baby performs now one thing I will note is it's got a pretty decent build quality for being at the price point that this is at. It's not as good as the Galaxy A5 and as I said before they're similar price points so you would expect similar um, similar performance between the two but that we absolutely do not have. So let me just pause this here. We got a little bit of a brightness problem going on here so we'll turn that down a bit and see how it looks now there we go that's a little better so there's quite a few drop frames and whatnot it's not going to run as smooth as your uh, your Samsung's your Galaxy phones the viewing angles are pretty terrible and it gets really hot trying to play these games so I mean it's not really much of a gaming performance phone and there's a lot of lag and it's just it's overall just not meant for this kind of use it's meant for the person who wants the budget phone they can't afford anything more this is I don't know it's basically a trap phone so we will move on to the next game here see it's it's lagging so much it won't even hit the home button look at that oh my gosh this is ridiculous there we go wow okay so we will move on to the next one here. So I'm leaving that open in the RAM like I always do. So Need for Speed Most Wanted. The second one that we always play in my gaming review videos. And I mean this is a pretty high end game and it just crashed right away. So let's try that again. This It's hilarious this phone trying to play these games because it's just so bad. See it crashed again and try it one more time I was just playing this on here earlier and it was working fine but it looks like it's just going to keep crashing alright so we'll move on to true skate and this one I've noticed there's a bit of a problem with the latency on the touch screen for this game so when you go to do moves it's not really as responsive as other phones so it doesn't register your touches as quickly as many of the other budget phones do so it's just 
overall it's a cheap phone it's got cheap specs and it's it's not really meant for gaming this phone is good for Facebook and Instagram YouTube and I mean it doesn't pick up the Wi-Fi as good as other phones but for the price point that it's at it's not terrible so and it does keep a few things going in the RAM at the same time so that's one thing to be to note but uh, overall it's just not it's not meant for gaming it's just that's all there is to it it's it's an internet phone reminiscent of your next bit robin things like that it's not meant for these heavy duty applications you'll be doing a lot of phone calls and whatnot on this but that's about it i mean even right now this thing's hotter than a two dollar pistol so it's not made for gaming it's it's just your regular everyday make a phone call phone so this one is a no-go if you're a hardcore phone gamer and it's just I mean it's a good phone don't get me wrong I like this phone it's well put together it's well built but it doesn't have the power to run these high-end games and it's mainly for your internet warrior status kind of people or a spare phone that you're going to keep in the car and only use every once in a while so this has been gaming on the Huawei GR5 is it any good and the answer is no it's not very good but it does have its uses so thanks for watching this video if you liked it please like and subscribe and we will catch you on the next one